Hey, New Year's right around the corner it is. Heard about all them resolutions? I'm all about recipes. Stick around, I got you something that'll help you get through the New Year first day. I'm not going to sing that song, Old Anxiety, because I don't know all the words, but New Year's is approaching. So what do you do on New Year's? You try to do something that day. My mother always told me, do on New Year's Day what you want to accomplish the rest of the way in life. And she said, you do that by eating black-eyed peas. Brings you good luck. How many of y'all heard that? Man, it has been a staple down here in our country for years and years and years. My mother told me that on January 1st, you had to have at least one tablespoon full of black eyed peas to bring you good luck. It started back during the Great Depression, back in the 30s, and Dust Bowl and all that. My daddy told me they'd have them dried black eyed peas just put up somewhere and they'd get them out, and they'd reuse them. So it's really pretty simple. We call this poor man's sausage. I mean, that's what it was. You just mix everything together and you make them black eyed peas become like they are sausage. So we've took a can, a 15 ounce can of black eyed peas. Now, if you got fresh, I even like that better. I do. And we have cooked them down and we have drained the juice off them black eyed peas. Little mixing bowl, two thirds of a cup of flour, one half of a yellow onion that has been diced up. Did I use something that should be in every one of you's cabinet? That ain't a word every one of you's. This should be. This should be like they would say in Arkansas. A friend of mine, Scott Worley, Ewans should have this in your cabinet. I promise you, you'll cook better. There is this blend and the original. So we got all this in there, and I want you to mix it well and incorporate it. We're gonna take this here cackleberry, and I'm gonna crack it right here in this measuring cup. And I'm just going to whip it just a little. Can you see? Whip it, whip it. Also known as a greyhound dog, a whip it. We have drained the juice off the black eyed peas. In they go. Add the egg. You just go to mixing together. with, Get it to a point to where we can get it all incorporated. And then we're going to use our hands. And it don't hurt to mash them black eyed peas, I promise you. Stirring and mashing. It's called the New Year's Mash. Now we got that to the point to where we want it, so we're gonna come over here to a modern appliance called a burner. We got our fields skillet on there. We got two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Now something that really makes this better if you can do it, save you some of that bacon grease or them dippings that you had left over from the day before. Flyer your hands just a little, and when you're outside, you can do it this way. In the kitchen floor, mm -mm. get you about a tablespoon of this stuff, make you a little ball. You might want to flyer your surface a little because we're going to go ahead and pat them all out here. Poor man's sausage. Now, the sage, which goes in a lot of sausage, and the red pepper flake, it's going to make you think that maybe so they a hog got in here somehow and you don't even know it. But I guarantee you, folks, you just ain't going to want to eat these on New Year's. You're going to want to eat them every day. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. That's a dozen. That's four for the beagle, four for Frank, four for me. So we're going to have us extra good luck. We're going to check that grease with just a little dab of this flyer that's laying over here. It's beginning to sizzle just a little. We're going to turn our heat up. Lay our little poor man sausages in there. There is some sizzling going on. 
It don't take long for these to cook, but they will brown on both sides. And folks, I ask you, if you haven't checked out our unboxing video of the field skillet, please do, because that's a good piece of iron. Them are good people. Folks, we're going to brown them pretty good on both sides. It ain't going to take long. That, that oil was hot. You can burn them if you leave in there too long, but we're just going to crisp them up good on both sides, warm everything through, let that flavor go to cooperating with each other. It don't take long. We'll turn them over, brown the other side, then we're going to break out a plate, and we're going to eat, and I'm going to have good luck for like four more years because I'll eat four of them. Well, I think it's time we should check these little rascals out. Looky there. Whew, we're making sausage, we are. Big. You like sausage? If it'll fool the beagle, it'll fool anybody. Him and Frank might even get lucky enough to catch a rabbit and a bird. Folks, it's a done deal. We have plated up the poor man's sausage. Very simple, very easy recipe, but something that I guarantee you you'll love. And do I believe in luck? I've been eating black-eyed peas a long, long time. Y'all ever seen me with my wife, Shannon? It wasn't my good looks that got her. It was my cooking and my good luck. Mm. You get the sage in there, which makes you think it's sausage. But the little dab of kick the red pepper flake brings and the mesquite with the ancho chili, Folks, that there is fine dining. Might have been brought about by the depression and some other ways that lived back in them old dirty 30s and the poor times, but them folks knew how to get by. They were salt of the earth people. So if you want to put a new twist on an old dish, everybody's heard of eating black eyed peas, but however, how many of you have ever made them this way? They're a treat, I promise you. I ask you to try them on New Year's Day have them for breakfast. Hey, they are a great thing. You can have them any time of day. We appreciate you stopping by this morning. We do. And me and Shan want to wish you the happiest, healthiest new year that you can have. Beagle and Frank say, hey, they're going to have a new plan. Everybody makes a new year's resolution. The Beags is to lose two pounds. Frank's is to catch a bird. Thank you so much. Hit the subscribe button on the bottom. Happy new year. God bless you.